No. No. I watched it, I sat through it, and I regret watching this god-awful thing. Or a sorry excuse for a TV special. Star Wars The Holiday Special. Oh my god. This is one of the this is the worst thing Star Wars related that has ever came to light. And people say The Force Awakens is bad. People say Rogue One is bad. People say The Last Jedi is going to suck. People say the Star Wars prequels are bad. The Clone Wars cartoon show from Cartoon Network from 2008 is bad. Trust me, you have not seen anything yet until you have seen this. This. Where do I even begin on this thing? Because this uh, this is not deserve to be called. Well, okay. So, in this story that ties the special together, <laughs> or whatever, whatever is freaking special, Chewbacca and Han Solo visit Kashyyyk, Chewbacca's home planet that was introduced in Revenge of the Sith, to celebrate Life Day. They are pursued by agents of the Galactic Empire who are searching for members of the Rebel Alliance on the planet. And we also introduce his three members of Chewbacca's family, his father, Itchy, his wife, Mala, his son, Lumpy. Though those names were later explained to have been nicknames, and their full names has been Ant Antichikruk, Malahas Buck, and Lumper the, the Wookiee names are hard to pronounce. And then you have Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, 3PO, R2-D2. The star, even the freaking theme song. Thunk. And it introduces... Stop, and just... Uh, this is so bad that it has never been released on DVD or Blu-ray. And there is a reason why... This piece of crap has not been released on Blu-ray. Because it's such an abomination against humanity. That, and it's such an abomination to the Star Wars name and the legacy. That it is not even worthy of a DVD Blu-ray release. CBS, look, I respect you CBS, okay? You have awesome shows like Criminal Minds and Ghost Whisperer. But this, you trying to cash in on the very first movie, which was A New Hope? <sighs> no. It did not cut it, okay? This special goes through two different directors. And everybody... For, including Star Wars people, fans, and the actors involved with Star Wars, hates this. George Lucas even said if he had a copy of, if he had a sledgehammer, if, I, if he had the time and sledgehammer, he would track down every copy of the show and smash it. Because that, and that's pretty much something he should he could have done if there if the copies of this actually because after this I want to destroy a copy of it on camera. <sighs> oh. This is not even Star Wars. You, 
this, how this is a holiday special. It has nothing to do with Christmas. It has nothing to do with a freaking holiday. It uses stock footage from A New Hope. And it's just... Uh, ugh. This was a pain to sit through. And a lot of YouTubers, including OCP Communications, he said, do not w waste your time on it. And boy, I should have listened. Because this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Ever. And they've only shown this once. So, <laughs> good. The music is fine. And John Williams' themes are even used in here. You have a song by Diane Carroll. You have a song called Light the Sky and then Carrie Fisher sings, which I will I will talk about in a minute, but <laughs> it doesn't even feel like Star Wars to me. And people say these new Disney Star Wars movies don't no, they may be owned by Disney, but at least they they are Star Wars movies. At least they're what more watchable and more tolerable compared to this piece of crap. Uh, I will give you one, I will give you at least 10% ounce, a little, small 10% of credibility. That's all I can give to it. The original actors, they try to make this crappy material work. Harrison Ford hates playing Han Solo, right? But for some reason, he looked like he's having fun here. And who, whoever does the color scheming on this thing, the color scheming is just terrible. This is one of the space balls. Is a much better Star Wars. Is some is something much more Star Wars related than this, and that movie is a parody of Star Wars and Star Trek and other sci-fi films. And also the animated Boba Fett thing, that was cool. That was cool. I like that. Those there there are only that's the only ten percent of credibility I can give because everything else is just. Bad. Bad. Even the effects for a 1978 TV special of Star Wars is terrible. And the special effects in Rogue One and The Force Awakens and all the Star Wars prequels look like Oscar-nominated visual effects than this. Why is this a freaking thing, man? I don't know. But whoever's idea was this, you should not have done this. Because this is a horrible experience for me to sit through. I will not watch this again ever in my life. This is complete hell. For the love of goodness, if you have yet to have watched the Star Wars Holiday Special, do not, and I mean do not, waste your time watching this movie, this special. No, I'm going to call it this a thing because it doesn't even deserve to be called acknowledged. I'm a Star Wars fan and this is what you do? No. You know that ain't right. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm giving the Star Wars holiday or holiday Star Wars. I don't give a care anymore. A skip it. Skip this horrible mess. The Last Jedi is going to be much better than this. I already know. I may end up hating the movie, but we'll see what happens when I watch it and review it. 
and it felt good for me to get out of my system. So let me know what you guys think of this thing, abomination against Star Wars, down below. Do you like it? Who would even like this? Share all of your hate, anger, rage in the comments below. Come on. And if you like this, you can come here and we can have a good time. And I'll see you guys in another video. This is bullcrap. This is not Star Wars. This is an embarrassment to Star Wars.